A North Texas Alzheimer's researcher uh, really hopes his groundbreaking work is going to one day save millions of lives. The University of North Texas Health Science Center will announce later today that he's receiving a $150 million boost in funding. That's the largest grant awarded in the university's history. Fox 4's TC Muzinga talked to Dr. Sid O'Brien about his research. The University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth received $150 million from the National Institutes of Health. And the campus is home to one of the leading Alzheimer's researchers in the world. So I'm here with Dr. Sid O'Brien. First of all, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. This is the largest grant in the history of the UNT system. So how will this grant lead to better treatments? The way I say this all the time is this project will change the world. Uh, and I mean that with all my heart. Um, this is the single most comprehensive study of Alzheimer's among the three largest racial and ethnic groups in the United States ever done. And it's all done within a socio-cultural and health disparities framework. So we are going to find new and novel ways to not only detect, but even treat and prevent in time the disease for everybody. Where does, does your passion come from? This is a personal journey for me. Um, when I was in my training, I was seeing uh, this is this is pre Gulf War and working in VAs and in, in my just as I'm learning to become a neuropsychologist, and I'm seeing all these patients who memory loss, all these signs and symptoms, but it was taking them 12, 18 months to ever get to a specialist and just trying to understand the system and some of the things that didn't seem to make sense, but then it that same time, I wound up getting a call from my father that um, my grandmother uh, started uh, developing signs of the disease. And so you can imagine I'm in Albany, New York. My family's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And so trying to help the family figure out what's going on, how to get there, how to do it, you know, get a diagnosis, get the therapies going. It took, still took over 12 months and thousands of dollars. And, um, you know, at that point is when I decided this was where I was gonna gonna spend my life. Being able to lead the single largest study of health disparities in Alzheimer's disease in history is such a just a blessing and honor. And as you can tell, this is this is my passion. This is what I do, and we're here to serve the community. And this is something no one's ever done. And um, you know, all of these uh, four thousand five hundred people will all be seen from DFW. I mean, this is it's, it's truly unique and truly special. Uh, that's amazing, first and foremost. I feel like I've heard multiple times, you know, that there is going to be an end to Alzheimer's, you know, in our lifetime, sometime in our lifetime, right? And, and that's, I'm sure a lot of people have heard that as well, including our viewers. Obviously, we haven't seen the breakthrough treatments quite yet. So when do you think that is coming? I think the work we're doing is what will facilitate that because most trials to date in Alzheimer's have been, can we use one drug to treat every patient? And in what complex disease does that happen, right? If you think of cancer and heart disease, diabetes, there's so many different drugs out there that could treat this specific type of patients. This is taking huge steps, large leaps, because, you know, so, so Hispanics, African-Americans, and non-Hispanic whites are the three largest racial ethnic groups in this country. However, over 90 to 95% of all research ever conducted on Alzheimer's disease has been among non-Hispanic whites. Now we have these cutting edge brain scans where we can look at amyloid plaques, tau tangles, neurodegeneration, all without having to do a lumbar puncture, without having to wait to autopsy and all of that. But we still have no idea how amyloid or tau or neurodegeneration present among blacks or Hispanics. That's all been done among non-Hispanic whites. And so what we are doing is a true deep dive into the biology. It's just never been done. No one's ever really there. There's almost no data out there on what brain amyloid looks like among African-Americans. There's almost no data out there what brain amyloid looks like among Hispanics. And so by studying all groups at the same time in the same study with the same methods, we get to look at things in a way that just hasn't been done before. I believe truly within the next 10 years, we will have precision medicine approaches approved and in doctor's hands. There's a lot, I think, coming down the road because our patients deserve more. My grandmother deserved more. 